Try to be 10% better than you were last week. So if you're running 30 miles a week, run 33. If you're swimming 500 meters, swim 550. It starts with why. Why don't you want to be in better shape? Why the f don't you want to be a better f student? Why don't you want to be more successful? The more you walk away from accountability, the weaker you become. Find yourself in the grip of life. You can't find yourself by doing nothing. Inspiration's found in every footstep you take, every grasp of that fucking iron bar, all that shit, all the miles in the pool. Inspiration's found in suffering. And if you want to take the easy road, it won't take you to where you want to be. Stronger, smarter, faster, healthier, better. Free. To reach goals and overcome obstacles and be the best version of you possible will not happen by itself. It will not happen cutting corners, taking shortcuts, or looking for the easy way. There is no easy way. Resist. That whole opening chapter about not resisting. Don't let that happen. Resist. Resist the weakness. Resist the lies. Resist the things in your life that will turn you into a prisoner and into a slave. And you do that by going out there every day and getting after it. Look, I feel like most people in their lives are being allowed to live small. You're allowed to live a small life. Everyone around you would like you to live small. Just do this. You're good at that. Man, take it easy. Chill. When's enough enough? Like, come on, brother. You know, where we, where we all these messages you get is basically saying, hey, man, live small. Yeah. Life's not a big deal. Live small. Enjoy it. Chill. Smoke a little weed. Do whatever you want to want. Right? Like, it's just this get by thing yeah. in life. And there's got to be some people go, no. No, you're supposed to do something great with your life. You were put here for a purpose. Your way, the way you were born, the way you were raised, your background, your experiences, your giftedness all prepared you in your way for right now. And you're supposed to do something great with your life. You weren't born here to be average and ordinary. And there's all this messaging that you're average and ordinary and you're average and ordinary because you belong there and it's probably someone else's fault you're average and ordinary too. And I'm like, no, it's your life. You're in control, it's no one else's fault, and you're supposed to do something magnificent. That's the consciousness aspect. The last thousand years on earth, doing something great has been reserved to this one little group of people, 1% of the population, they're supposed to do something great, they're supposed to live their dreams, we're supposed to watch them, cheer for them, wear their jersey, watch their award show, comment on their posts, clean their houses, right? Feed them in their restaurants, no! The fact of the matter is, you can do those things. You can change your life. And I'm sick and tired of this hero worship. You live small, cheer for everybody else who lives big. No, if you're a school teacher, be the best damn school teacher. Change the world by those little lives you're affecting. If you're on social media, change the world, play big. You will never do it wrong if your decision is to do the bigger thing than the smaller thing. That's what I would tell you. Stop playing small, stop thinking small, and don't let anybody tell you you should be small. Mediocrity feels so fucking good. So we love surrounding ourselves with mediocre people. They give us a get out of jail free card. Whenever life gets hard for us, they tell us it's all okay. Don't fucking worry about it. We don't want to surround ourselves with those people out there who are getting the fuck out of it every day, holding us accountable, making us feel uncomfortable. People who are challenging us at every turn of life. Those people scare us. That's exactly where you need to fucking be in your life. With those people who put you in a world of questioning who you are. That's exactly where you want to go. That's exactly where you grow. So what you got to do is you got to start taking the steps now. Because when you're 18 years old, your life seems like it's gonna last forever. And I will tell you right now, it's not gonna last forever. And those years go by like a summer's day. 
and the next thing you know you look up and you're 36 years old or you're 44 years old and that time's gone you cannot get it back you cannot get time back so those dreams that you have those goals that you have don't put them off another second not one not one second get on them and go out and make them happen starting right now there is no easy way there is only hard work late nights early mornings practice rehearsal repetition study sweat blood toil frustration and discipline discipline there must be discipline discipline the root of all good qualities the driver of daily execution the core principle that overcomes laziness and lethargy and excuses discipline defeats the infinite excuses that say not today not now I need a rest I'll do it tomorrow what's the hack how do you become stronger smarter faster healthier how do you become better how do you achieve true freedom there is only one way the way of discipline everything i yeah. didn't want to do is what got me to where i'm at today interesting every single thing so where we find comfort yeah that's where i started getting scared yeah when I started saying, oh, it's raining, I'm not going out there. No, you cannot say that. You cannot do that. You, you have got to do this. Mm -hmm. The other, so whatever my brain thought, I did the opposite. Mm -hmm. Wherever the comfort was, I went the opposite direction. And over a period of time, boy, it calluses the sh mm -hmm. out of your mind. So you got to go start your journey. And the journey starts with you finding, why the hell am I here on this planet Earth? Why am I here? And if you don't know that, you will live the rest of your life searching, always asking the question, why? I failed, I go back to scratch. I use some positive motivation. I have like one day where I'm like defeated. But I started realizing this is part of the process. This is part of the journey. I had to realize this is part of my process versus just saying, like I used to, I'm just not good enough. If I'm not good enough, we always say that shit. I'm just not good enough and then we try something else. I'm gonna make myself good enough. And that became my mentality. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make myself good enough. And so I misunderstood a lot, but that's, that's all it came down to. I made myself good enough. And the days I couldn't run that far, the next week, I would do two a days. So I, on the running, if I ran a quarter of a mile, I wait a couple hours, it haunt me, bother me. I try to run a half mile the next time, same day. You can do more than this. If I had to walk, I had to walk. It just became just a process of grinding and grinding and grinding is not even a good word for it. It's not even a good word for it. And just just going further and further. And then when I got through running, I go to the bike. I go to the pool. If I got tired somewhere, my legs are tired, I, I go to the gym. And I developed this crazy workout where I was doing volume, like two, three hundred reps of like very lightweight. People always say, how, you know, how come you don't have any like loose skin? My workout routine in the gym became sick. It became sick. I was just doing two, three hundred reps, four hundred reps on like chest, just like for one simple exercise, the bench press. And I would rack it, get back on it, just rep it out, trying to burn as many calories as I can, build that muscle mass. And I just became just became obsessed with it. If you're choosing to do if you're choosing to do something, attack it. Because they're gonna remember you as not attacking it. So I want to be remembered. You can hate me, but there's one thing you can't say about me. I didn't attack it. So that's the mentality you have. If you're gonna do something, you might as well attack it.